Hey YouTube, this is Seth McDonald. I am back with another talk video of today. I got me a new camera. Um, I've been kind of doing it, switching it off and on from my phone to my new camera. It's a GoPro action cam. I've been hearing a lot of goods and bad, uh, the good and the bad of them. But I thought I'd give it a try. Um, it's not so bad filming with it. I'm not used to having a small, small screen on a, on a camera. But, you know, hey, you know, if it works and if it shoots good production or good quality videos or whatever, um, then I'm all for it. Um, I uploaded a bad video testing it out, saying, testing my new camera out, see what it's like. Um... It don't have that blue lining, I guess, from the lights into the camera when you're filming. Um, even though I don't know what that is all about when it comes to filming. Um, I'm not really much on camera. Um, I don't know what what is wrong with the camera or what, if it does that. Um... So I have I have two regular cam two other regular cameras I've tried, and those two have like when you film the light, like a normal light, it'll have like a blue line um, from the lights that are off of the ceiling, which I don't understand that part. But oh well, um, I've been making more content on my new camera, um, my Go Action Cam. I I use that for like. I want to upload it to my computer and then, you know, I'll do some editing. Man, I'll upload the video on my channel and then I'll call it good or whatever. Um, but 9 out of 10 um, on my free time, you know, I do, I do a little bit of videos here and there. But mostly on my free time, I do a lot of research on YouTube. Um, I learned some things, new things on YouTube. Um, on my downtime, if I'm not, if I'm not, you know, working out or whatever, usually on YouTube, playing Xbox. Um, I usually read. I mean, I've been reading some re winning moves, winning wrestling moves. Uh, by Mark M M Men's Nick Barry Davis and Brooks Simpson. Sorry if I'm pronouncing one of the names wrong. Sorry, but I've been reading that book, Winning Moves, Winning Wrestling Moves, by Mark Miss Nick and Barry Davis and Brooks Simpson. And so, I've been reading some new wrestling movies, but the thing of it is, you know, you can read as much as you want on books and learn from them, but if you don't really apply to it and try to, you know, learn something besides learning off the internet, yeah, you know, most of the time, most people don't want to take the time and read a book, or they want an easy way out, you know, they want to just... Look up a video about it on the internet. You know, they don't want to waste their time and hours, you know, out of their life to read a paperback book. Most people don't even know what a book is anymore. And to me, that's sad, you know. When I was in school, we did everything by book. We learned everything by book. We, uh, when we had the flus, we did not get called... We did not get told to stay home. You know, we went to school. You know, yeah, if you were sick, if that person was sick, and yet they cannot walk in the door, yet. If that person was sick, they went straight to the nurse's office saying, hey, I'm not feeling good, they got sent home. But for the whole school to get sent home, no. We don't get sent home because of, there was a flu outbreak. No. Or whatever back then. Now they're making such a big deal on the coronavirus 
you know, saying, oh, you know, we all got to stay home, stay safe, be a coward, and and everything else, and um, to me, you know, to me, honestly, I think there's more to that. I, I just think, you know, I think it's all kind of made up, because they hadn't showed, like, None of the faces of the people that died from it on TV. They had to show the people that actually died, you know, to show respect to them, you know, to their loved ones or whatever. Um, to me, I think it's all fake. Um, I don't believe it's real. I don't believe um, the coronavirus is real. Um, so when it comes to... Um, a virus of that sort that you never heard of and you don't have a vaccine for it and they're telling everybody to stay home. You know, to me, honestly, you know, I'm not staying home. You know, if I want to go somewhere, I'm going to go somewhere. And that's just me. Um, I'm not going to stay home and be afraid of every little thing out there that comes our way, you know, if there's another virus that comes out, you damn straight, I'm going to be out running around. Or I'm going to be outside doing something. I'm not going to be inside, stuck inside all dang time, the whole entire time, doing, um, man, doing stuff around the house. Being home all the time gets kind of boring. Um, you know, people aren't into isolation. Now, if you was a convict, then that's a whole other story. Um, those guys are pretty much used to it. Um, but, like, a regular civilized being, they ain't used to being cooped up. They ain't used to being locked down in their own homes. You know, the United States of America, you know, our country is the land of the free, you know, our people make the choices uh, on what we want to do because that's our right. That's our um, freedom. You now, we have freedom of what we want to do. We have freedom on what who we want to um, be. You know, the thing of it is, you know, when it comes to Stuff like that you see on the TV, you know, it's talking about, you know, you need to stay home, you need to stay, you need to listen to us, or whatever. You know, to me, you know, it's our choice, you know, it's our, it's our freedom they're after. Um, they're trying to do something to us, or they're trying to control us, they're trying to, you know, get it in our heads saying, oh, there's a virus out there, and... To me, you know, they're, you know, where's the virus at? I don't believe it. I don't believe the virus. I don't believe in the virus. I don't believe there is a virus. I just think it's just a worldwide spread that somebody made up and that somebody, you know, basically um, made it to national TV and said, okay, there's a virus and they, it's an outbreak. And it's uh, just to scare everybody. And that's what they're doing. Um, plus, they're wanting to control everybody to stay home. Um, to me, you know, they're trying to control our freedom. And freedom is wrong. Um, freedom, controlling the freedom of people, it is wrong. Because we live in the United States of America. And our country is the land of the free. It's not a dictatorship. Um... You know, we worked hard to strive for our country and to make it free and of what we can do and what we cannot do. Yeah, there are some laws that we can't can't do, but, you know, staying home from this virus thing, you know, that's the stupidest law ever uh, that I've seen. Controlling out how many people go into a freaking store, that's stupid as well. Um, shutting down businesses. That's stupid as well. Uh, people just say things over precautions and they don't, they don't care. They're so scared. They stay inside of their own homes 
and fearing for their lives and not, you know, making that money. They were to live off of unemployment. They were to live off the government. Uh, that's the thing. Nowadays, anymore, more people are afraid just to even go outside and be around people because they're afraid of being coughed on or whatever. Or saying that it's a black thing that they're attacking the black people. No, it's not. If not, if there is a virus, if there is a virus out there that's killing everybody, um, nine out of ten, they ain't just gonna kill one person or one race. It's gonna kill every race out there if there is a virus. Now, to me, honestly, it, it's bullcrap. You know. That's just my opinion. Um, everybody has one. You know, everybody has their own right to make their own opinion on things if they want. Um, the thing of it is, you know, our country is the land of the free. The United States of America stay with our true nation. Stay with our freedom and don't mess with the people. And because um, we worked so hard for our freedom and... Uh, just be who you want to be and be yourself and don't let nobody control you. Because if you let somebody control you all your life, you know, you're going to be in fear. Um, basically, you know, don't let nobody control you. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. Do what you want because it's your own right and your own choice. You know, if you want to do it, do it. Don't just say, oh, I want to do it. Do it. Um... That, that's the only thing I could think of um, as of right now. Um, you know, only thing I can say, you know, if you are out and about and stuff, you know, don't be scared. You know, don't let, you know, don't fear things over dramatic. And um, best thing to do when you get in inside, wash your hands no matter what. But other than that, don't fear the virus. Don't fear what the government's telling you on TV. Don't fear um, so bad where you can't get any sleep over it. Don't fear that, you know, how things are going. Um, but like I said, you know, why can't things be back more like the old ways and, you know, have our freedom back? And, you know, that, that's the thing. You know, have our freedom back. Um, that's what freedom is. Freedom is our freedom of choice, freedom of speech, freedom um, what we want to do, a freedom of expressing ourselves, and freedom to go places, freedom to do this and that. Not someone to tell us on what to do with our lives. Not to someone to tell on... When we can go into the store, you know, and this and that, it's bull crap. And to me, we need to have our old lives back. That's all I have to say for now. Peace. Seth McDonald, sign it out. And I'll talk to y'all later. And God bless on this beautiful Sunday. And I'll make another video tonight. Stay tuned. And that's it. Stay safe. Like I said, don't let no one control you on what you're doing, and peace.